So Barsa, hope you're well. Now an acting student. Yes. Uh, who a brand new one for that matter? Yes. Uh, we learned that uh, she's the second uh, female, female CJN uh, in, in the Nigeria of uh, the country. Yes. Of course, the judiciary, uh, and the judicial arm of the government is Angkok. It's a yes. breath of fresh air. Yes. Uh, so well, let's look at what to expect. So, of course, we've seen the record of the past CJN. Mm. Of course, a lot of people have uh, missed uh, feeling. Yes. He yes. uh, was mad with uh, controversial uh, others, mm -hmm. counter others, others, so conflicting, others conflicting others, and all others. that. Yes. Uh, so many people question the independence of the judiciary. Yes. You know, uh, but the judiciary faced a lot of things. But now we have a uh, fresh breath here. So, what ooh, is your expectation of this new CJN? Well, I listened to the acting CJN. Justice, when she said that under her dispensation that the confidence of the masses will be restored in the judicial system and that all has to be on deck to do that no single person can do it that means she already knows that the populace do not seem to have much confidence in the judicial system anymore and then we believe that um, she is going to do a good, you know, and remarkable work during her period at the CJN. Now, there are areas like guideposts that we may want to point. One of them is to see how the judicial system will move away, as we have seen in the recent part, from the, the judgment orders or based on technicalities and to pursue at all times substantial justice that is one because if you look at supreme court's judgment in the recent, in the recent past they've always maintained that they have excluded technic technicalities and will always aim at giving judgment on substantial justice spectrum but you see, during election petition matters, you still see infiltration, a lot of, a lot of technicalities that you know we are used, and judgments on election petition cases depend based on technicalities. There is need for certainty in our cases. Now, judicial president, the need that we, the anybody. Be you a judge, be you a lawyer, can predict the outcome of a case. All things being equal, that if this happens, these facts are there, this is what the court is likely to come up with. And that is how the law should be. Yeah, so there should be a certain degree of certainty in like the this. law. That is not existent for now, and there's need to remedy that. Again, there should be access to justice, especially at the Supreme Court. I know that uh, the Argon CJN, before the expiration of his tenure, or for the amendment of the Constitution, so that appeals will terminate at the Court of Appeal. Majority of the appeals should terminate at the Court of Appeal. Let only few appeals get to the Supreme Court. That is not acceptable. That is not good enough. And why is that so? We are denying people their constitutional rights. They have a right to justice encapsulated in the constitution that if they are not happy with the decisions given at the court of appeal they have a right to go to the supreme court to ventilate their appeals and uh, get um, judgment uh, justice and of course we have seen instances where it is at the supreme court that palpable errors were corrected there are so many cases on that so why will majority of cases and at the court of appeal. Yeah, we saw that at the election, the last uh, where lawmakers. Yes. Uh, their, their journey was terminated. Yes. And as the Supreme Court. They, uh, that, 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 those are things. A, a, apparent injustice. Brazen angels came to have heavens for the And again, you discover that there is backlog of cases at the Supreme Court. And something needs to be done. And I believe that the proper thing to be done is. And uh, uh, you see, why, why they are calling for termination is 
for the wrong reason. They are because there's back law. They say don't go, uh, don't go to the Supreme Court. You are denying people their right instead of doing what ought to be done. And what do I think should be done to create more divisions of the Supreme Court? We don't just have one Supreme Court because Nigeria is a court of over two hundred twenty million people. You have only one Supreme Court, and case a Supreme Court last of 20 years 25 years 15 years as the case may be there could be other divisions of course there was a time we had only one court of appeal federal court of appeal today we have many divisions to the court of appeal the same thing should apply to the supreme court but then like we said earlier there should be consistency in the judgment of the different divisions of the court of, of the supreme court so we don't have the repeat of what we've been seeing in the court of appeal. Where one division will give one uh, judgment, another division will give a contract judgment on the same subject and the same facts. All right. So All right. if there should be there should be uh, created other division Supreme Court so that at least the civil political zones let there be the uh, other divisions and let them synergize so that people will have access to justice. One of the things that hinder people from investing in this country in Nigeria is because they look at it, the time it takes for them to get cases concluded on commercial matter, invested matters. So there is need for this incoming CGN to ensure that these things are done. And uh, last on this on this issue, there's also need to ensure that the judicial is insulated totally from the executive be clear court independence. Of course, the article CGN said so, that there, there should be a judiciary that is independent of the influences of the executive. Let it be seen to be so. All right. Uh, but, but, but what if you had to advise the current CGN? Sure. What would I, I, you I, advise? I, yes, I, 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 will, I will get into that. First of all, I want to uh, react to my colleagues' uh, uh, um, argument that some cases should not be terminated at the court of appeal i believe that there are some cases that should terminate at the court of appeal one tenancy cases that start from uh, magistrate court should not go all the way to the supreme court to have the high court will appeal to the high court and then will appeal to the court of appeal so if by the time you reach the court of appeal you are still not satisfied you go home that should be the last appellate jurisdiction of the magistrate, I mean, the, the cases that, that emanate, the cases that emanate from the magistrate court. That is... That as you mean, somebody so, feels that the judgment of court of appeal on that matter is not in consonance with there are, the there is previous no somebody that will be completely satisfied because even at the Supreme Court, when the Supreme Court gives judgment, somebody will still feel that court, I mean, that judgment it's not right. If there's any appellate jurisdiction, I would have gone higher. So there's no now, way. There are, the, 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 the have a... stop at a particular point. You understand? That is my own thinking. Because this thing clogs the the, 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 the the Supreme Court with so many cases. Do you, 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 you know why that is so? so? That is so because we don't have a clear cut the uh, federal structure in Nigeria. All right, let me, because let we let compare me, both the state courts with the federal, federal courts. Court. There that should be a separation. Oh, this is now, that should the, be clear separation. Uh, that is one. The second one is that I advise the current acting CJN to ensure that speedy dispensation of cases is given priority. How do you do that? You are, the Constitution gives room for 21 justices of the Supreme Court. I think we have about 20 now, or then about. If we have 20, and then because this one exiting down 19, they should bring in somebody else to complete that. We, we are supposed to have 21. The CJ, if we have 21, we should have at least four panels of the Supreme Court sitting concurrently, not at a situation that one panel will see today, like we, what we are having in the uh, Court of Appeal here in Lagos Judicial Division, where one panel will sit this week, another panel will sit next week. In fact, some uh, weeks we don't have any of the panels sitting, and then your case will continue to be prolonged. If we have five, I mean, uh, four panels of the Supreme Court, or five, five justices sitting at the same time, to dispose, dispense of so many cases that are still hanging. And then 
And somebody will now have the confidence that his case, once it gets to the Supreme Court, will be de determined within time. But what we have now is that the moment to file an appeal at the Supreme Court, you don't know when they will give you dates. If they give you dates next year, and that is 2025, they give you the date, you, you file it this year, they give you a date next year, be sure that it's going to be heard in 2027. And so it's, even that 2027, if the, that date comes and the court does not sit, yeah, another two years, you are given. So it, it, it makes a mockery of the entire judicial system. What the current CJN has to do is to ensure that there is speedy dispensation of uh, justice by making sure that judgments are delivered, cases are heard speedily without any more uh, delay. That is the first one. The second one I want to advise the current uh, acting CJN is that he should, as my colleague has said, detach the judiciary from the executive, from the National Assembly. Let it be seen, not by mouth, let it not be, it's not in the mouth of the CJN that, that, to say that the judiciary is independent. We want to see that it is independent. The moment we see that the judiciary is giving judgment the way it should be, not based on the fact that it's because it is brought in or the president is interested, the National Assembly man is interested, and so the judgment must go the way of the president, the way the National Assembly man was. It must not be seen that way. The moment we see that, I mean, uh, lawyers can sit down and advise their client, this case is going this way. As we are going, it's going this way. And the lawyer on the other side will also look at it and say, ah, my friend, this case is going against you. There's no way we can get this. Before you know it, they sit down and uh, uh, sort it out among themselves and agree and settle out of court. The case will not reach. That is the, the, the reason you are having this call in the cases in the Supreme Court is because nobody knows what the Supreme Court is going to decide. Nobody knows even what the High Court is going to decide based on the precedent set by the Supreme Court. That is why it is important for us to have judgment based on law, judgment based on law and the precedent created by the old system, not the present system, not the current system. Because if you want to, to, to in fact, so many of the cases that the Supreme Court has, I mean, so many of the judgments decided by the Supreme Court lately should be revisited, and some of them are torn, because they are against the rule of law, they are against the law itself, they are against the interests of the society. So this present the CJL, acting CJN should ensure that there is that detachment from the uh, presidency, the executive, there is that detachment from the National Assembly. That is the second. The third one is that there should be an amendment to the Constitution. There should be an amendment to the Constitution. If it is possible, for the Supreme Court to have a regional uh, Division. divisions. Yes. Regional. That is, we have one in South, 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 East, South, West. We just have the very, you know, if they are not, because they are in South, West, they don't mean that uh, it is going to give a judgment uh, in favor of the South, West. You bring the, the, the way the court is uh, composed of. Yes. Bring justices from different parts, just like in the court of Yale, and they go to the different divisions and ensure that these judgments are in tandem with what other presidents have said. Yes. When they are giving that judgment, they be sure that it is not in co a co contradiction. Uh, there is no contradiction. It is not in conflict with any other judgment. The moment we do this, you will see that there is going to be a very easy way of going about the judicial system, uh, access to justice, and people will be happy. Even because going, yeah, to, the, going, to, the court of, uh, going to the Supreme Court now, from anywhere in Nigeria, is something that you have to pay so much to a lawyer to be able to go. Because uh, if you are going to the Supreme Court that you cannot go by route, you have to go by air. And going by air, it means that you have to pay at least 300,000 or 400,000 to be able to reach a Supreme Court, uh, court uh, that two. Hotel and, all that, and come back. So who is that person that needs justice that does not have this amount that will want to send a lawyer to the Supreme Court? He will say, because of money, I cannot go. So that is very important for us to have 
move divisions oh, of these supreme yes. powers in different regions. Yes. Right, thank you very much, Michael. Man, uh, and then, out of yes, let's just get your last yes, word on the um, uh, the final thing on the acting CGN is on the issue of recruitment of judicial officers. Let there be transparency. Let it be based on merit, not who knows who. You're recruiting people as judges, magistrates, whatever kind of, let that be a let it be based on merit, so we can have competent people there dispensing justice. It's very important. And then concerning the whole thing, uh, my final words on the issue of the proposed bill for the delegation of the IG should be properly looked into it is too hasty the public needs to be heard the public were denied hearing and it was done under seven days and then i wish the incoming cjn a good tenor at the helm of affairs of the judiciary and we expect changes clear changes in the near future thank you well, th thank you very much, yeah, Authority yeah. Tom. But then, I'm sure the, the legislature will argue that uh, God created uh, the universe within seven days. In fact, within less than seven days, and won't have time to rest. <laughs> no, but, but the issue is that they denied the public a dispute into that war. There was no public hearing. <laughs> well, let's get to the yes, final yes, one. There was no public hearing. Is that, uh, first of all, uh, uh, about the uh, police act amendment, I believe that the president has heard the criticisms of Nigerians based on the issues raised. He should not accept to that bill. Send that bill to the West Bill. That is what he should do now to ensure that Nigerians, I mean, to continue to enjoy the uh, the confidence Nigerians repose in him. That is one. Two, the CJN has to ensure that she, that she detaches herself from politics. Very, very important. I know that the, the, the by reason of the constitution, the, the president has to sway in the C, uh, CJN, the CJN has to sway in the president, and uh, all manner of uh, <laughs> politics go on there and now. But I believe that once the CJN decides, after the swearing in, is uh, because when you look at the picture during the swearing in, it's like is uh, sub, uh, uh, subjugated to the president. It's not right. The president is a different arm. The the the, 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 the CJN different and the National Assembly different. So the three of them must be seen to the, the, the depart from each other, so that there is that checks and balances. Right. Politics must be sent out of the judiciary. That is the work of this current acting CJN. All right. Thank you very much, uh, Vice Mike. Thank you, Vice Chair, for coming. Yeah. Raising us with your insightful analysis as usual.